what's going on baby welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vloggy vlog i already know who it is but if you don't baby my name is carissy hello and welcome and welcome back to another episode in the day of my life as plus size it girl series now this week it might be a couple of days it might be a day i'm not really sure but we are starting off the vlog early y'all know i usually do like a weekend or if i happen to go out during the week but today i'm going out during the week honey it is wednesday april 13th and um i've been invited to an event at the plt pretty little thing showroom here in la it's on melrose so It'll be a cute little event. They have, um, they put on this, like, Coachella. They put on this Coachella, like, festival, um, vibe. And they have three different days. So, each day had a different theme. I think the first day was, like, um, a denim day. And, like, you decorate your denim for, like, a festival for Coachella. Um, second day was, like, accessories day. And then today is health and wellness. And me and the girls was like, oh, we're going to health and wellness. Because they're supposed to have, like, IV drips. Um, I think they're having tanning and just, you know, different brands there and stuff. So, it'll be real cute. Oh, my God. I think this is the first time I'm taking y'all along with me on, like, a little influencer event. You know? So, it's going to be a little treat. The girls are coming. Uh, we're all meeting there. And then we're probably going to go grab something to eat after the event. So, I'm very excited. Like I said, it's on Melrose. So, also, a lot of y'all have been saying, Christine, you live in LA. Like, we want to see LA. So, I'm going to try to vlog and get um, some footage to really show y'all my city. Okay? So, anyways, today, the face is beat. The hair is curled. You know what I ended up doing? Because remember in my last vlog, I was like, how do y'all curl and maintain your curls and remember i was curling with that big barrel um curler girl i just put in wand curls i don't know what it is about the wand curls but they hold so much better however i do need to go to the beauty supply and um get like some pins well some more pins so i can actually pin curl my hair child so i got a lot going on today and then um honestly i probably have a lot going on this week you know it's easter just got a lot of other things going on so i'm gonna bring my girls with me it is currently 12 20 and the event starts at two so melrose has like no parking so i want to leave early and get down there early so i can find me a park chair and then um yeah so very fun faces beat per usual hair is wanted i have on my little skins body suit well i guess i give y'all a little otd all right y'all so this is today's little otd i know i usually set y'all up a little different but i ain't got time for all that today chat so i have on this fits everybody bodysuit from skims i believe this is the color it's either sienna or um chat i forgot the color i'll list it down below though so you guys can get it i love this bodysuit like the strap is so cute also have on the scoop neck bra under here i just have the straps down i guess I could have put on my skim strapless bra, but chow, like I said, I ain't got time for all that. And then I threw on my little cargos. Y'all know I live for these cargos from Fashion Nova. But like I said, I just took out the elastic on the bottom and made them straight legs. You guys know I love these pants. I will have them linked down below as well. But look at that body. Like, stop playing with me. The waist is wasting the tees and titting. The everything is everythinging. And then I have on my little Rolex bracelet from Anna Luisa. Look at all my tattoos, too. Um, and then my regular necklaces, which I have to switch up. Like, I have to switch up the necklaces. These are just the easiest to grab and put on. I love them. Um, face by Jesus. And that's the fit, y'all. I'm either contemplating on, you can't even see my feet, but I'm contemplating putting on my Yeezy foams or my Yeezy 700s that are like a light nudish color. I think I'm gonna put on my phones because they're just comfortable. It's easy, you know, it's kind of giving like a chill vibe. But yeah, guys, that's the fit. Also, I might add a cardigan, but the cardigan's in the car. So yeah. Cute. It's about 75 today in LA. So this is uniform. <laughs> Okay, babe, so this is a little cardigan. I showed y'all this. I got this from Miss Guided. It's like a big, like, oversized cardigan that I put on uh, with a bodysuit. I hope that my bra straps stay intact. I might, you know what? I'm just gonna have to put them down because I can't be having them showing under my bodysuit. I have put them down with a knife. Who chill? I'm gonna take off my whole bodysuit, girl. Um. <laughs> I have put them down, 
but then I put them back up because I was like, uh, I don't like the little indentation it's making in the bodysuit. But now that I have my little Cardi, we're just gonna put them right back down because I don't like how the black be showing under the bodysuit. I don't like that vibe, like, absolutely not. And I ran out of boot tape, so. It's definitely boob tape season. I used to get me some brassy bras and some regular boob tape as well. So I'm about to be on my way, but I keep forgetting to tell y'all what fragrances I be wearing. I am wearing um, Irresistible by Givenchy. I am carrying it with me because I don't have a, um, like a travel size to this. And when I go to events, and I know I'm gonna be out for a second, especially when I go to events, I need to have my fragrance on me because I need you to smell me. Like I'm gonna make sure I'm smelling good right and tighten there because you know you want to network and meet other influencers and dang it's sunny and <laughs> different people you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm about to head up it's gonna take me i know it's about to be traffic right now so it is going to take me 46 minutes to get there that's not bad so that will have me there at 1.33, perfect, because our time for us to go is at 2, and I want to make sure I find parking and all that. So, all right, y'all, let's go. Woo, baby, that, the war curls are giving. Like, I love a little straight moment. I love a little, you know, but baby, when you put curls in here, it's feminine, it's sexy, it's giving Farrah Fawcett, but she's black. It's giving Diana, it's giving Donna Summers, it's giving Pamela Grant. Like, come on, stop. Like, we're giving feather, we're giving face, we're giving body, we're giving skin, we're giving shoulder. <laughs> Dedicated to my girls. At first I was afraid. I was petrified. Heaven can happen whenever it will pass you by my side. Sunshine on me, sunshine on me. Actually, sunshine on me. Yeah. I bust the windows, I should call. about that song baby that song baby baby it's been some cars that i wanted some windows to get busted out of ciao like it would never be for me i don't do the dirty work but baby when i tell you i wanted to make a couple phone calls a couple of times <laughs> to get somebody handled like y'all don't even know but you know what like as mad as i can get sometimes you know i'm a scorpio baby i can get mad um you know, I just, I just have learned that revenge is not mine to give. It really is not. Like, it is the Lord's. And I'm, what is this truck doing? <laughs> revenge is really the Lord's and ain't nobody gonna get, do it like Jesus, okay? And I feel like when we try to pay revenge on somebody for something that they've done wrong to us, it's almost like, okay, we're taking the power away. Well, I don't wanna say the power because we can never take the power away from God, but it's almost like we're saying, God, you're not gonna handle it. I don't trust you to handle it, so I'm gonna handle it on my own, baby. Let me tell you something. I've been handling some things on my own, and it'll never... <laughs> is never right like you know i just say you know lord you know what this person did to me you know you know what happened in the situation you know how pure and loving i was and tried to handle it i'm gonna give it to you it's literally above me now and i'm gonna let you handle it and he may not handle it right when you want him to you might not see it instantly or you might it could be years from now it could be a couple months from now it could be weeks from now it could be days from now it could be hours from now who knows but God gonna handle it. One thing about it. And I've seen it time and time again in my family's life, in my life, and you know, I, I've just seen it. So I'm like, Lord, it's on you. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Cause can't nobody serve up revenge like the Lord. <laughs> or can't nobody allow things to happen like God. Like, you know, I can't, you know, I, I don't have that type of power, so. That's all we can really do. But I'm not even gonna hold y'all with that last situation I was in. Baby, when I tell you, I called my brother because my brother works um, for airline. And, you know, old dude was living, um, in, in, is living in San Francisco up north. So, you know, it's about an eight hour, five or six, 
maybe five or six hour drive but baby that's like a 45 minute flight so i called my brother i said book me a ticket right now as a matter of fact book me three tickets one for me one for my best friend and one for well two of my best friends um and rayshawn because we finna go up there because Rayshawn know Taekwondo. So I was like, we finna go up there, you know. Um, I was like, my brother, you can come too. Like, what we finna do? I finna go up there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna release what I feel. But, you know, God said no. I was able to calm myself down and I digress. And that man is over there somewhere miserable. I know he's miserable because from the little what I know about him and from what I know about that relationship and that situation, baby, he's miserable inside i'm already knowing so i'm like i do what it do anyways one thing i always tell people about me is like i really don't play about me and i have known that from just the way i've seen my life go like god don't play about me because i really like what y'all see on my channel is what you really get like i i don't like the light i'm just doing on this camera what y'all see on my channel is what you really get in real life like if you ask people that really know me this is really who i am i have the purest intentions when it comes to everybody like i help out where i can i give out free information i you know i do i do what i can for everyone i have the purest intentions when it comes to everyone i'm not perfect okay sometimes i slip and fall child sometimes i be having time to read to some of y'all but for the most part you know i'm just a really good like happy person um and I don't ever do anything shysty or behind people's back or anything trying to be like gossipy or like nothing like that. So I never cheated on anybody. Like, so when it's done to me, it's just kind of like an extra like, oh, word. Like you really had it in you to treat somebody that, you know, has never done anything to you, would never do anything to you like that. It's like that bit. Like you already know what it is so if you're going through a situation with a dude and you know or not even just to do a friend i've been done wrong by friends or been treated away by friends that you know i don't think is right but whatever we're gonna leave that alone if you going through a situation leave it in god's hands and keep doing you keep your wits about you keep your cool stay classy you know keep it pushing be about your business be about the people that genuinely loves you be around them you should always want to be around people that truly uh feel delighted and smile when they see you come in you know excited to be around you like you know if you're around people that make you feel small or that try to make you feel small or make you feel bad about yourself or like you're always doing something wrong keep it freaking pushing like no one has time for that when there's so many people out here that will genuinely love you who you are for you like keep it pushing like especially in relationships child uh-uh because some of y'all i'm gonna just keep it a bug like doing wifey things for a man that doesn't deserve wifey things or that doesn't have intentions of making you a wife and you know when a man doesn't have intentions of making your wife, keep it pushing. Like, absolutely not. Some of y'all be bending over backwards, bending it like Becca for men that literally don't care. <laughs> like, that don't care, that are out here doing whatever, whatever, living however they want to, or you've been through a situation with them and they didn't showed you how they were, but you stood over here bending it like Beckham, trying to get their attention and, you know, trying to make them feel whatever. Like, girl, please. One thing, my, <laughs> one thing <laughs> that I've been learning is absolutely not. Like, if you want me to do wifey things, if you like it, then you need to put a ring on it. Like, and that's just period. Like, y'all want to remember I was singing that song when Beyonce dropped it. <laughs> and I tell people all the time, like, yeah, I've been single for a while. I had a situation. It didn't work out. I'm single again. Out on the prowl. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but here's the thing about me. Like, I'm a catch. I have ambition. I'm pretty <laughs> i'm well kept i keep it together i'm funny i have you know i'm a woman of god I have all these things going for me i could have been married please every guy i date talks about marrying me i could have been had children that's not the issue it's my standards that i have i would have been married and miserable i would have a child and miserable like no that's not that's not what i want for my life so if i gotta wait for who god has for me you know, to come find me, because he who finds me find a good thing, 
okay and that's on period that's how y'all need to think about yourself because the bible says he who finds a wife finds a good thing so he who finds you finds a good thing and in the process make sure that you're ready to be a wife and that you're ready to have a husband okay so that's my little blurb for the vlog shit that's my little blurb for today i always know i gotta give you a little word but that was just on my mind for listening to that song like absolutely nah we don't just take anything over here and i hope that people never just think that oh she's single and bitter or she's single and can't find a man maybe a man is not hard to find <laughs> now a quality man is 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 a little slim pickings a little harder to come by and when i find him baby just know that that's gonna be husbands and it's gonna be locked down and it's gonna be good so yeah per up here trying to find parking parking is so crazy up here i don't know why i never just decided to uber over here but <laughs> uh, this is not my first influencer event this is not my first event um with being invited with um plt they throw a lot of events but this is the first time i'm taking y'all with me because y'all know i'm now consistently vlogging and it's so crazy because on my way here while i was you know getting my b-roll of me driving i was thinking to myself like i'm the type of person that never just like stops and smell the roses sometimes or acknowledge like growth my growth or my accomplishments and i really want to start doing that like that was one of my goals this year and i passed where i used to work pre-accident so i used to work at Saks like for two months before i got in my accident um across the street from the beverly center if you're from la you know what i'm talking about um and i would you know drive past the plt building and just be in this area and just be like oh, i can't wait to like you know live my life you know what i'm gonna turn up here and see if i can work up here um <laughs> i can't wait to live my life up here i can't wait to you know be invited to plt one day and like do all these things and it's just kind of like can you park here? Are they about to park here? It's just kind of like, look at me now. Do you know what I mean? Like, you ever have those moments where it's like, look at me now? <laughs> you know? Like, people that didn't know what influencers was and if we make money. And people, there's still people that still ask me, like, well, how do you make money, <laughs> baby? Like, look at me freaking now. Like, being very much that girl doing very much what I set out to do I set goals and I am doing it literally I'm doing it I have so much further to go and you know just want to do just want to do so much more but I'm literally doing it so per <laughs> Yeah. 
take a while See this boy, he so that looks just like you Yes, you even smiles just the way you do So, whoa, 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 innocent, easy But I was fooled It's actually it's like two days after the event. Child, let me tell you, I don't know what it's been lately. I've been so tired. I just have been exhausted. I don't know if it's because I'm ovulating, which <laughs> I'm doing nothing with, but I'm just exhausted as of recent. And it also maybe because I haven't really worked out this week. And the reason why I haven't is because my knee like my whole leg has just been so messed up and it's been hurting and my sister told me that i probably need to um you know when i work out i probably need to be wearing like a little knee brace or whatever so i need to get a knee brace and just you guys i swear you know i'm like an 80 year old <laughs> in a 26 year old's body because your girl be out here broke down and just just be down bad child somebody you can give me a, a massage somebody little nappy head anyways i want to tell y'all about the event yesterday so it was so much fun i had the best time shout out to pretty little thing and to my girl cat who is my pretty little thing rep um she also has a channel here i'll link her channel down below and she vlogs and like her whole life you know working for pretty little thing and everything um but it was really fun. I love going to influencer events because I'm able to just like network and I met a lot of good people and we exchanged Instagrams and you know, it's good to meet like friends and you know, people in your field, especially that live in your city. So LA, like LA is a big place, but it's also a small world, especially between like black creators. So when I see a black girl, like my friends were there so too, so I didn't feel like out of place but there were actually a lot of black creators at the event and when i see a black girl that is a creator that's an influencer i'm like oh girl you look so cute i love your boots i love your look i love you know because i'm gonna spark conversation with you and like let's follow each other because we're bound to see each other again <laughs> at another event like and a lot of y'all always you know ask me about how do i make friends as an adult you know out here wherever i live go to events follow djs in your city um um, you know, look for different networking events, even if it's events in whatever field you work in or just whatever it is. Go to events, be open to talk to people. I walked in, I was talking to people, I compliment people, you know. Um, usually I am a little nervous, a little bit of social anxiety, but I've had to like get myself out of it. I have to put my big girl panties on because I'm in an industry where like I need to know the who's who and I need to make all and I need to, you know, do what I gotta do. Like to get where I want to be so yeah girl I got a really good goodie bag let me show you all y'all you know I'm gonna do a quick little haul start in this first bag they had a uh, they had a few different vendors there and of course vendors are there and they want to give you free products so you would try it out you'll post you'll show your viewers just like I'm about to show you guys right now so this first bag I'm gonna show y'all is from Beauty Works and Beauty Works is a luxury hair experience they have a lot of different like hair tools and stuff and at first I was like girl they can't touch my hair child I know this is a, uh I know this is a wig or whatever honey but I'm still black okay the girls weren't black but like they were so sweet so okay I do have some oh I have some stuff from a different company in this bag as well so Tati Lashes were there and if you guys don't know what Tati Lashes is it's a lash company and you know who was there representing them working with them was Mama Mitchell I think that's how you say Mama Mitchell um uh, he's a makeup artist. I follow him on Instagram because when I saw his work, I was like, oh my God, who did that? And it was him. Uh, but he's big in the makeup community. And I got this lash kit. Baby, you know, I stopped getting my um, lashes done. So I love me a good strip lash grip. So 
this is the kit and then it comes with a lot of different oh girl slide up girl and it comes with a few different style lashes and it also comes with lash glue and a lash applicator so i'm very excited to try these the style in particular that i think um jumped out to me are these bottoms right here because they're individual sections and like i said i do love like individual lashes and i haven't taught myself how to do individual lashes yet but um i feel like these would be easy to do and i can kind of teach myself so I might do that for Easter Sunday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I also had like the ice cream guy for the rolled ice cream. I think I put a clip of that in the vlog. But it was just a really fun like, you know, kind of cool event. And they just be trying to like give you all the product, child. And then I got these... Now I got these lashes right here, which is Tati Lashes collab with Mama Mitchell. And these are the TL Mitchell 4D Luxury Mink Lashes. Now these are super dramatic and super fluffy. I feel like these are kind of more of a look that I would get from like a volume set of my lash extensions. So I'm excited to try these. I typically don't like... um uh, strip lashes that are too thick but if i can get them to look like my lash extensions because y'all know what my lash extensions was looking like like these look so full so fluffy very much giving dramatic very excited for them and then i have this other set which is tati lashes collab with pretty little thing this is kind of more of a dramatic lash as well that i'm excited to try i love trying like the different styles of lashes and these are 3d faux mink especially mink lashes okay luxury on the eyes um because you know i just must i was like seeing what style I like i love the lashes that i've been wearing currently from amazon because it's more of like a natural type of lash but you know we want to change up the look and be a little more dramatic child now from beauty works baby they were handing out full blown hair tools okay i got this this professional waiver this i'm very excited for because i love doing like waves kind of like crimping hairstyles especially during the summer they were giving out these um regular like barrel curling irons and wands and i already have a curling iron and i have a wand first of all i love this box it's very much giving luxury the hair tool is very heavy very profesh and then it comes with a little dust bag ah, for the waiver love that oh i'm so excited to try i just feel so like i feel like a real influencer when i go to events and like companies just be like here take a whole thing like a thing <laughs> of this big bag of course my big of course my big Pretty little thing bag for all of my other goodies and treats. Now, baby, one of the biggest things I was excited for was just like the wellness of the event. So they had um, someone there doing IV drips, which I didn't get a chance to do because it was 45 minutes a session. I was just like, oh, I'm not trying to sit there for 45 minutes. I'll do it another day. And then they had people there giving like beauty shots, like B12 shots, like, you know, shots, like actual shots. Then they had a girl doing um like teeth jewels that line was so long i was just like i don't even have the time they had a bar they had mario Badescu, which y'all already know if you watch me on a weekly basis you know i talk about mario i love mario Badescu skin products i have been using his products especially his facial sprays for years and i was so excited to see them there child okay so the rep for mario badescu was so nice and me and key were just like chatting up with her and she was giving us so many products she was like girl yeah just throw it in the bag i saw no that's right so <laughs> She gave me every single flavor, not flavor, um, every single um version of their facial spray. She gave me every single version of their facial spray. They also gave us these drying patches, you know, if you wake up with a blemish with a little zit on your face, a little breakout. 
um they gave us this little pouch right here with i don't know i didn't even look in here what's in here too oh another little drying patch i might give one of these to my niece i might give this one to my niece because it has like the little minis um and then the gentle foaming cleanser actually i'm gonna keep this i'm not even gonna hold you because i'm running out of my face cleanser um <laughs> No, I'm gonna give her something. I'm not gonna be greedy, child. And then they gave us a mini facial spray with aloe adaptogens and coconut water. I don't know what adaptogens are. If any of you guys are estheticians in here, let me know. Or I guess I can Google it. I'll Google it before y'all can tell me. And then they gave me a Mario Badescu lip balm, which I live for and I actually have on my lips right now because I have one in my purse purse i think i might give this little pouch to my niece oh they gave me two lip balms purr yeah i'm gonna give one of those to my niece i won't be greedy because they gave me another pouch they literally gave us everything on the shelf they have that big shelf i showed y'all and i love this because this would be good for travel but um these are all the little sprays in minis they're so cute i'm so greedy <laughs> I be wanting to keep everything because I'm like, oh my god, this is so good for uh, travel. But I'll keep this one and then I'll give my niece, London, this because I do have repeats of what's in here and here and right here. So I'll give my niece this and I'll give her the drying patch back. She'll probably like that. And I'll probably give her a couple packs of the drying patch out of here because, um... I don't get breakouts often and then I might give her like one of these or two of these <laughs> child listen <laughs> I like to hoard skincare I'm not even gonna hold y'all y'all already know skincare is expensive and I like to know that I have it but I'm not gonna do that I need to get better with that because I just be hoarding stuff and I'll end up having a bunch of stuff and then I have one more product this is the AH a botanical body soap this is a product that i have not tried from mario so i'm excited to try this it's a grapefruit infused body wash designed to leave skin feeling thoroughly clean and refreshed aha botanical body soap is formulated with an invigorating brand of fruit enzymes ginseng and linden to revitalize skin with every shower yum we love to revitalize a little skin shit um i got this cute crop top it's so cute with this little cut out for pretty little thing and this is like kind of like a soft um rib kind of like crochet fabric and it has kind of and then it has like the detached sleeves so it's kind of like a cold shoulder with a little tie around and it's so funny because i actually bought this top in green so i have it in my package over there and then i got this two-piece set which is super cute it's in this really nice like dark forest green it's a nice like sweater rib fabric and then these are leggings and they have the stirrups at the bottom which i love i think this is just like such a cute vibe with like your heels and i got the matching crop top where is it oh, okay and then I got the matching crop top to those pants. And the crop top has like a little tie around tie right here. So I got those two items. My skincare, my hair tools. All in all, I came up off the event for sure. <laughs> I love free stuff. I don't know about y'all, but I love free stuff. And I really want to start doing like giveaways if you guys would like that, which I'm sure you will. But like, let me know what type of giveaways you guys want me to start doing. Um, but I also did get a few items from Pretty Little Thing that I was supposed to wear to the concert last week, but it didn't make it here in time. So I have some stuff just for my spring wardrobe. But if you guys want to see, you know what? Let me give the girls a little haul. Hold on one second. All right, y'all. So I have a couple of outfits to try on that I've just picked up from Pretty Little Thing. I think I'm gonna start calling my hauls fittings because fitting sounds cuter and like more luxurious and like I'm important, which I am important to me at least. <laughs> it sounds 
sounds like I'm a celebrity and my style is picked out looks and I'm doing a fitting. And it is a fitting, shit. I'm trying to see if everything fits, okay? So, okay. This first outfit is actually the outfit that I have picked out originally to wear to the Jasmine Sullivan concert last week, but didn't get here on time. And high key, I liked the outfit that I had on last week better than this. This is cute, but I don't know. So this is the fit, and I wanted to do like a green on green moment, a little olive green, foresty green moment. So these are like leather pleather leggings and they have a cute little slit in the front and it's kind of like a ruching detail in the front. I thought they were super cute. I believe I had these on in a 3X. I like these a lot actually. I like the way they fit. I don't have on any shapewear so you know it's definitely giving fupa and all that which is fine. And I feel like recently I've been like gravitating more towards leather pants. I don't know, something about them is just like cute and chic and just like, I don't know, I feel put together when I'm in leather pants. I think my biggest thing though when it comes to leather pants is just like this area right here. Like it's very like on me, like gripping me, which is fine. Like I'm not insecure about my fupa stomach, none of that. But when I don't want all the shown, I do just wear like kind of like a at waist shaper panty or shaper little boy short. And then I have it on with this top, which is the white top that I showed y'all that I picked up from Pretty Little Thing. It's just cute. I love the top. It's a little crop top moment with the open cutout and then it has like the cold shoulder sleeves. I like it. I do think that the sleeves are a little big because they keep sliding down. I think, I don't know, like I want to say I could have sized down one of the top, I'm wearing it in 3X, but I actually think that I could not have only because of the boob area, you know what I mean? I mean, I probably could have, but I don't know. And then it has like this little detail right here, which I thought were ties, but it's kind of just like an open cut, which I don't know. I don't know about this top with these pants because I feel like in order for me to get what this top is given my pants need to be sitting like lower on my waist like this so I can do I think that's how it goes yeah sitting a little lower on my waist so I can like do this you know so maybe some like jeans that I can kind of adjust and then like this might be cuter with or I could do it like this I guess I don't know child I figure it out or this might be cuter with like a little crop top or like bra top and like a cute blazer or something like that but these pants yes they're giving I kind of don't love like I feel like they're gapping a little bit right here which sometimes is the issue I have with pretty little things pants but I also feel like that's something I can kind of like figure out you know what I mean so yeah child if you don't have no leather pants and your wardrobe get some because you can dress them up dress them down I wear them with dunks graphic tees blazers heels like versatile all right babe so outfit number two i'm kind of living for this outfit let me show y'all the top first it is this bodysuit right here the bodysuit is bodying it's very much giving um hopefully you guys are getting the full effect of it i'll put up you know what i might insert pictures too so you guys can really see but this is like a rib knit kind of like a chunky sweater rib knit bodysuit it's in us like i would say it's like an orangish rustic color but it has a little bit of like tan like in it like kind of like sewed intertwined up in it and when I saw it I just loved it I was like oh need like it's just so cute and so feminine and I love the fact that it has like these separate sleeves on it so the sleeves are not sewn into the top whatsoever I used to fix this one let me pull it up a little bit um, the sleeves are not sewn onto the top. They actually come, not come separately, but they're separate from the bodysuit. It comes together. You don't have to buy them separately, but they're separate. You know what I mean? So if you don't want to wear the sleeves, you don't have to. If you want the sleeves, you know, for people that aren't comfortable having their arms out or you just want the full look then the sleeves are there. I personally love the sleeves. I think it fits really well. I have this one in a 2X. I always size down or up with pretty little thing. Like I size down in the tops and then typically in the pants, 
my size up because I already know what I'm working with on my lower half. So I love these and then I'll show you guys what it looks like, of course, without the sleeves. Bam. I just love these little sleeves. And also, this is a cute option. Like, you can pair this with other things and just do a little razzle-dazzle to your outfit. And then I have on these straight leg cargo pants. These are actually gray. At first when I saw them on the site, and still kind of when I'm looking at them in person, they give me like a tannish vibe. So I did buy them to go with this bodysuit, which I still think it works with this bodysuit, but it says light gray on the site. So they're neutral, which I think we can work with a lot of different things. I'm just into cargos lately. I love baby when it comes to a cargo pant. Sign me up, okay? I think my booty looks really good in them. I'm wearing these in a 4X. Like I said, I usually size up when it comes to pants and pretty little things. I think they fit really, really well. The only issue that I have with pretty little things pants is that they be so long. I mean, these are like really long. I'm stepping on the bottom of these. So this is why I call these fittings because in my head, I'm like, okay, do I go to my tailor and have him, him the bottoms or is this going to be a pant that I strictly wear with heels and you know I do like my pants to be long to wear you know if I have on heels like you can't even see them I just don't like when like you can see the shoes under long pants I don't know it's a thing it's a personal preference but um I think with these I need to get hemmed just a little bit maybe like I would say it's maybe just like an inch off the bottom, you know what I mean? Maybe an inch, you know, it'd probably be the perfect length because I do want these to also wear casually with, um, like, sneakers, you know? And y'all, I just feel like I have to, like, I don't know, I really like this outfit. I love this look. Like I told y'all, my style is evolving as your style should evolve as you become more mature, as you get a little older. I'm in more to more of like a chic, you know, just like put together, classy, feminine type of vibe, especially going into spring and summer. So I had to upgrade, baby. And you had to upgrade too. Pretty Little Thing always has like really good sales for like 40, 50% off pretty much every day. So get on it. Yeah. This next look I'm about to show y'all, like, I am pressure. Like, I just love seeing all my womanness and my sexiness and just, it's just giving everything that I expected it to give, okay? I'm giving Britney and Justin at the VMAs. Ooh, ooh. But it's brown and chocolate and almondy and thick and sexy and beautiful and buff and <laughs> y'all I love this look ah, this dinner one dinner baby when I saw this top I was like come to me come to me right now now listen I do feel like I didn't know it was no stretch <laughs> I would have gotten my normal size if I knew that it was no stretch however I think it works you know I think I just need to like place my boobs where the boobs need to go with a little tape or a little strapless bra and then i need to double side tape the girls not the girls the top to my boobies so we don't have no mishaps and i you guys i'm so obsessed with this like this is so cute not the little stranger break the little string off girl um i'm obsessed with this this top yes 10 out of 10 i didn't even buy it for these jeans because i didn't think they were the same wash but they're actually really close so i would wear these together i was thinking another pair of jeans but actually i love these together 10 out of 10 like i'm a fan this top you guys you need it you need it and let's get into the jeans not a pair of jeans from a fast fashion brand that actually fits me pretty little thing she a pretty little thing, but what? Uh, she a pretty little thing. Oh, oh, oh. She a pretty little thing. I need some love. Can you to say it in love? Okay, let me stop before my boobies bounce out. But anyways, these jeans are so far. So they're split hem jeans. Can y'all see? Okay, they're split hem jeans. Woo, turn off the light. Um, but anyways, they're split hem jeans. They're so freaking cute. I have these on, I believe in a 4X. 
and they're non-stretch at all so that's why i always have to make sure i size up i love these they are crazy long so they need to be hemmed a little bit maybe like an inch or inch and a half off the bottom i they just doesn't work with heels i'd have to wear kind of like a tall platform kind of heel however i really shouldn't even be showing y'all this because i kind of wanted to just pop out on instagram and the look you know what i mean i kind of just wanted to give y'all a quick little like one two a little surprise but i got to put my girls that watch the vlog on because of what the girls that get get in the girls that don't the girls that miss out then they don't period anyways <laughs> i actually have an influencer event for tuesday like a dinner that i'm going to and i might pull out this vibe because i don't know if y'all remember but in my last fashion Nova haul i got this pink coat and this was the plan the whole time it was that pink coat with this denim on denim look and then i was gonna have like as a church outfit but the titties said absolutely not that's why i really want a breast reduction because this triple d life is not for me it has this extra like fabric fold in here and i'm wondering like what if i took that out and i did no that doesn't work so <laughs> i'm just gonna have to place the girls in here pull this up where i need it to be and double side tape that so i can make sure when i sit down my cup is not overfloweth running overfloweth okay and you know none of that i love the fit of the jeans so i will be going back onto pretty little thing to buy some more jeans i'm obsessed with the top like i'm obsessed with this whole look all right babes so last but definitely not least is this top right here i was so excited to get this top i've been eyeing it for a minute seen it on a couple of friends and i finally got it it is this crochet knit just like button down it has two buttons open you know giving stomach giving a little v long sleeve top this is perfect for spring because it's like not cold but it's not hot so it's in the middle this is like easy breezy beautiful cover girl uh i think this would be perfect for summer too let me see all oh, these um buttons are functional buttons if you want to wear it open um you know during the summertime that'd be really cute i freaking love this I, it looks so good they have it in black brown and this color so i'll probably go back and get it in black and brown and i love this because i think this could be worn casually oh with some leather pants and some please with some jeans with some shorts like this is such a cute vibe i think even it's cute with shorts like you do a little like tuck in moment oh this is so freaking cute. It's going to be a cute little date vibe as well. You can even put like a nice like lacy bra under here. Like, please, y'all. I'd be giving away free styling information. So, y'all, that's it for the haul. I mean, I guess I could try on that outfit that I got from the event yesterday. I just don't feel like it. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm over it. Um, but yeah, y'all, that's it for this little haul. Things that I purchased. I love it. I love adding cute little pieces to my wardrobe. I have up uh, some more pieces coming from ASOS next week. So that'll be in probably next week's vlog. And then I'll probably go back on pretty little thing and do another order some stuff because they just be dropping like the fire stuff and i'm sorry but other brands have just not been getting good right for like spring summer for plus size and i feel like pretty little thing and occasionally fashion nova are the only ones that have been getting it right so asos from time to time like they drop little gems but primarily pretty little thing is like my aesthetic you know and i just want to say y'all treat yourself when it comes to the things that make you feel good for me i feel my best when i look my best and i know that it's not all about appearance and all those things but like when you have a good outfit tell you can't tell me that you don't feel like you can conquer the world that you can conquer any situation that you feel your most confident i do and if you haven't tried it i think that you will too so i would say like listen everybody is not gonna ball out on clothes i don't ball out on clothes every season like i get a lot of things sent to me and then okay sometimes i do a lot on clothes. but i add 
pieces that will stick and pieces that I can wear next year. Like you can't sit here and tell me that I'm not going to be able to wear this next year or I'm not going to be able to style this and transition this into different seasons. It's really important. Like you guys, trends are cute. And I would say I'm not a trendy girl because trends, they come and they go every few months. And if you don't have in your budget to completely change your wardrobe every few months, Stop buying trendy pieces, okay? I understand some nice trendy clothes cost less, but invest a little more or just buy clothes that you know that you can transition. That's why y'all never see me in a whole lot of frilly stuff, sequency stuff, animal print stuff, none of that because like I know me and I know that I'm not gonna wanna wear it in a couple months. And I know that it might not be cute in a couple months. So I like to purchase things that I know I can have in my closet for a while and I look refined and I look sexy and I look feminine and I look chic and I look fashionable and I look good. You know what I mean? So you just have to invest, whether it's $50 a month of your budget to buy yourself a nice item, whether it's 75, 100, whatever your price range is, wherever your budget is, just budget in a little bit for you to invest in your appearance and your wardrobe. And that's what you want to do, sis. So like, you know, that's my, that's one of my confidence tips and on how to like upgrade your life and, you know, feel a little better about yourself, child. Because a lot of y'all have been asking, you know, what I've been doing as far as like confidence is a little better and it's that I just buy and wear what I want and I've upgraded myself a little bit and like if you're OG then you know my style has evolved but yeah that's what I've been doing all right babe so I know this isn't the normal way that I end my vlog but I wanted y'all to see my outfit so we're gonna do a quick outfit check and I want to thank you guys for watching this video thank you for supporting my series as you can see I'm feeling myself because I can't stop moving I hope that you guys have an amazing Easter I want to thank you guys for all your love and support I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video Mwah.